Hey, we're Mally Renox and you're watching Sounds Fear TV. So yeah, we're here at Leeds with Mary Knox. How are you guys doing? Not bad, mate. You? Yourself? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Man. All good. Yeah, you enjoying the Leeds bus? Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's a bit wetter than Reading, but, you know, you can't bring the sunshine everywhere, so... No, unfortunately, you can't move the, <laughs> physically move the sunshine. It's a shame, That's, it's, it's, it? it's a shame, but... It's, it's a tragedy, man. Everyone's vibe seems to be quite high as well, though, so it doesn't look like it's affected anyone too much, which is always great, so... Absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah, Ghost of the Mirror, number one in the iTunes rock charts. Fucking awesome. Um, how are you guys feeling about that? It's great, man. It's, like, a bit unexpected for us because... You know, you, you never know what to expect from when you release a new song. You don't have people who dropped off a bit if they're not interested in you anymore. So you bring out this new album, it can't come out quick enough because you just you just want to get it out there and for people to hear it. But yeah, going number one, it's always great. It's, it's, it's good to know that people are buying it and listening to it. So thanks. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's good to, know, to hear the enthusiasm and the excitement about it, man. That's, that's what it's all about. Yeah. So yeah, what's been the highlight of the year for you guys? Um, I think... I mean, we've, we, it sounds like, like on paper we've done a lot of stuff, but to the outside world it doesn't look like we've done a lot because we've been so locked away since January to March we were recording the album. I mean, we did that with Gil Norton and Dan Austin and it's great, like, it sounds good. We had such a good time doing it. And uh, yeah, we went out with Day to Remember and then we didn't really do anything until festivals. We had a uh, slam dunk and uh, yeah, we just did warm up show at Norwich and a bit of Holland. Uh, so I think... There's a few highlights, do you know what I mean? But yeah, definitely recording the album and Reading and Leeds is always a nice way to top it off so far, so. Yeah, man, the festival's always like the climax, I suppose, the, the big build-up. Yeah, it uh, it's, sh it's a shame, because last year we did all uh, loads of festivals, but this year we kept them quite um, few and far between, so it was nice to do one. I mean, Reading and Leeds is kind of like the end of it, but of the festival, it's kind of, you see it as the last one in the festival, but yeah, Slam Dunk and Reading uh, and Leeds, obviously, they're great festivals to do, and we're proud to be a part of them absolutely man absolutely so yeah how, how have you like since the release of singles like how would you guys say you've kind of developed and changed as a band well i think uh, the new album asymmetry um is like a bit more adult like you can hear like the progression of you know our playing as as a band and like the lyrics and stuff like that yeah. so i just think it's a little bit more like i don't know yeah again just a bit more grown up i guess in a way you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I think that's um, where, where the name come from as well, do you know what I mean? It's like Signals, is, I mean we haven't done like a genre hop, you know, like some bands do, you know, they come out with a rock record and then they, they go completely pop or, you know, some, I mean, yeah. do a reggae record, you know, they don't, but, you know, it's a bit, it's, sometimes it's a bit like, whoa, what are they doing now? But so the album's very, very similar musically in, but a bit more of a progression, a bit more grown up and that's where the name comes from because it's the same, uh, same kind of genre, but a bit more bit more mature a bit more grown up a bit more depth to it i think it's a way to describe it yeah that's cool man staying true to the roots but also you know exactly. branching out and yeah, yeah that's it that's the way forward so yeah like outside of music well what motivates you guys you know do you, you influenced by people you know films you know poetry you know paintings you know is there anything that feeds into the writing process that you know that influences you um, Mikey's definitely into all that kind of stuff. He loves a bit of sightseeing. I mean, he'll do anything to get a holiday out of it, do you know what I mean? But, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's funny because you don't really realise the influences until you sit there and you, you know, you have a bad day or whatever, or you have a good day and you realise that that comes into your music. I mean, like, you know, lyrically, it's mostly Mikey and Sam who does that, but, like, musically, I think, you know, like, it comes out in your playing, do you know what I mean? You know, when Dave... Dave's a bit angry, it comes out in his drum and a bit more passion in it and stuff, do you know what I mean? Like it yeah, does yeah, it does actually affect, but yeah, like, you know, we go to cinema and that, Hell, everyone, a bit of football here and there, so. Yeah, man. It's called cool, like a, a bad day, you can just come and smash the shit out of the drums and... Uh, it's literally a godsend. I'm so glad that I chose to choose drums <laughs> yeah. to, to play. I don't think my neighbours are too happy about it, but to be honest, <laughs> my next door neighbour was deaf, so it didn't oh, really bother her too much until about five <laughs> o'clock when Deal or No Deal came on. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it didn't really, yeah. So it's, it's a great instrument to play. Drum, <laughs> drums is definitely Dr Dave's instrument. I mean, you know, if it was guitar or something, he'd be snapping the guitar neck and the strings, you know. That's, that's definitely the instrument. For, I, think, I think the instrument represents the person quite a lot with a lot of bands, yeah. so. You can, you, you, loud and brash. Yeah, you learn a loud lot. You learn a lot about the person <laughs> yeah. depending on what <laughs> instrument they play. I and, think. Yeah, and how they play it. Exactly. And how aggressively they. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> cool, man. So, uh, what are your festival tips? Like, what would you? What advice would you give to people? What items should people bring? What you know? Um, yeah. What What uh, advice would you give to people? Festival. We had, goes? One, we had this one quite a lot, didn't we? And the, the last interview you told us that we could only have one. So yeah. we sell for toothbrush first. Yep. Toothbrush is always one. I've always yeah. said wet wipes. 
dry shampoo. You've got to have that kind of yeah. stuff. Booze. A go. shitload of ibuprofen, because <laughs> you're going to need that for the next the next day. Can't write the um, depending on how if you smoke or not, maybe bring a uh, bring an extra bit of tobacco or something like that, because otherwise yeah. you don't really want to be paying festival prices and stuff like that. But no, yeah, it's just yeah. say the drinking thing is quite essential as well, because the more drink you have, the more you enjoy everything: the wet, the mud, the grubby toilets, the tents. So that's quite an essential, I think, yeah, man. to the enjoying the festival experience anyway. The more booze you bring, the more ibuprofen you need to yeah. uh, dull the pain the that's next the day. Thing. You have to kind of get the balance right. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, well, we'll just wrap it up there. But before we go, you know, could you guys like tell us like what you guys are up to? You know, what the plans are for the rest of the year? Yeah, we've got um, we've announced this weekend headline tour November. So we're going all over the UK, you know. Uh, I'm really excited for that because we haven't, like I say, uh, Norwich the other day was our first headline tour of the year, uh, headline show of the year, and we, you know, we didn't realise how long it had been since we'd done a show, so we can't wait to get out on that, and we've got some amazing support bands with us, so just hopefully see everyone who's into us come into them, that'd be great. Awesome, yeah, thank you so much for your time, it's great to talk to you, get some insight, uh, enjoy the rest of your time. No worries, mate. <laughs>